30 videos in 30 days. That is a small win. Now, old James wouldn't have been celebrating right now. Old James probably would have never even got to this point in the first place, maybe never even got started. Uh, and if he did, he probably would have quit before this point. But let's say for, a, uh, let's imagine for a second that old James does get to this point uh, where I'm at right now. He would not be celebrating, okay? He'd be focused on all the wrong things. He'd be focused on, oh, James, uh, your videos are not good. Uh, there's not many views. There's not many subscribers. Um, there's no editing. Uh, you know, there's just, you're not providing much value. You're not helping much. <coughs> you need to help more people. You need to do more. You need to do more. You need to do more. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I always had this mindset of really like go 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 and trying to put so much pressure on myself just my desire to to do the best I possibly can was actually funnily enough hurting me and it was preventing me from doing the best that I possibly can because it changed my mindset and I was focused on the wrong things and that would just lead to me just not even getting started because I've got a perfectionist mindset or it would lead me to quitting straight away because I wasn't seeing immediate results but the problem is life doesn't work like that. You know, whether it's in fitness or in business or making videos, when you start, you're not gonna be get you're not gonna get good, okay? You just gotta give yourself enough time to get good. And this is why celebrating small wins is super, super beneficial. Like you have to you have to do this if you wanna reach your full potential and you wanna do the best that you possibly can whether it's in the gym, whether it's with your training, your nutrition, in business, in relationships, in whatever you wanna do. If you can find a way to pull out small wins along the way, it's gonna help you a lot, okay? And that's kind of what this video is about. Um, the first thing I wanna talk about is instead of, uh, you know, when it comes to deciding what is a small win, okay? Notice that I'm celebrating 30 videos. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not celebrating subscribers. I'm not celebrating views. I'm not celebrating, uh, you know, the amount of DMs that I've got. I'm not celebrating the amount of clients that I've won from these videos. I'm celebrating actions. Why? Because actions I have a direct control over. I can control over how many videos that I produce, okay? I can't really control um, variables like, uh, views and subscribers that's kind of out of my control i can't directly control that okay but i have a direct influence on the number of videos that i produce and let's be honest it's not been easy like i've been sick for the past two weeks i'm coughing in these videos it's not really good but i could have made the decision to uh, just stop when i got ill and even now i wouldn't be creating videos and still be waiting for me to get back to perfect health before i continue to make these videos and that would have been like 14 videos or something just think about how much progress i've made in the past two weeks which i wouldn't have done if i took time off if i had the perfectionist mindset <coughs> and if I, I said to myself no you've got to be at perfect health you can't have a cough when you're making videos for example uh, are these videos going to be as good as when i'm not coughing no probably not but it's better to do something rather than nothing okay and when it comes to starting something new the mindset that you need to have at the beginning is to just get started like don't don't overthink it don't try and be the best don't try and do anything just get started if you're trying to go to the gym you want to start learning to work out just sign up at the gym and just go in the gym and do something you know, go in the gym and just walk around and have a look at the machines. You know, go in the gym, just go on the treadmill, do something that's familiar and just get used to going, get used to doing that action, ideally at the same time every single day. And if you do that, it eventually be it becomes a habit quite quickly, okay? So that's the whole process that I've been doing with these videos. I make, I try and make the videos at roughly the same time every day. And I'm trying to do them daily uh, because it's just gonna build a habit. now. Honestly, I did miss a day, okay? It's technically, it's 30 videos in 31 days. But this just brings me on to another point, actually, is sometimes you're gonna mess up. Sometimes you're gonna go off plan, <coughs> whether it's your diet, whether it's your training, whether, you know, you go on a night out and you don't work on the business the next day when you should have done. Sometimes you're gonna mess up, okay? But just get back on track straight away. I see what a lot of people do, and this is what I used to do when I was younger, is I would mess up and I'd be like, all right, well, uh, 
uh, I've gone over my calories today or something like that and I would just go all out I would just go all out and it would be weeks or days before I actually get back on track but if you get back on track straight away okay you have a day you lost that day what about tomorrow let's just get back on track tomorrow if you just get straight back on track whenever you mess up there's going to be minimal damage done and that's the same in making these videos I did actually miss one day uh, but it's only one day no big deal I got straight back on track and uh, no damage done okay so if you do have if you do mess up which is inevitable because sometimes life gets in the way and we're not all perfect just get straight back on track straight away it's the rule of two okay never miss two days in a row if you missed the training session yesterday just go today it's the rule of two whatever you're supposed to do if you missed it yesterday just do it today uh, and that way you can always ensure that you're at least moving forwards and you're not completely getting off track okay the next thing I want to talk about is how to guarantee success and how this relates to celebrating small wins because you only need two things to guarantee success in whatever, whatever it is, business, uh, fitness, relationships, anything. You just, in life, in general, you just need two things to guarantee success. And the first one is to just don't quit, okay? It's, it's, I know it's very, very simple, <coughs> but don't quit him is a superpower you win by default when you don't quit okay so how can you uh, reduce the chances of you not quitting well first of all you can reduce the friction for you to perform that action so it's much easier and more enjoyable for you to do it that's part of the reason why I'm filming these videos on my phone right now is because I'm reducing friction uh, and there's no editing in these videos that's even less friction okay so what excuse do I have so oh, I can't film a 10 minute video today like come on like that is, I'm making it super, super easy for me to do that action, okay? It's 10 minutes, all right, I've got to think about what I'm going to say beforehand, but let's say it's half an hour, okay? It's only half an hour out of my day. So the, the friction is much smaller, okay? So that's the first part of not quitting. But then, on top of that, if you find a way to celebrate small wins along the way, your motivation's going to be higher, okay? And the way I look at motivation is a bit like a health bar. If you've ever played a video game where you have like a health bar at the top, um, you know, like uh, GTA or, you know, any of these games where you're a character and you've got a health bar. <coughs> if that health bar goes to zero, you die. Game's over or maybe you have to respawn or whatever. If your motivation level goes to zero, you quit. Whether it's making videos, whether it's, you know, your, your progress in the gym, uh, whether it's in, uh, you know, business or whatever, you know, if your motivation goes to zero, you quit. So how can we top up that motivation? How can we make sure that it stays topped up and we stays motivated? Well, we can celebrate small wins along the way, okay? It's going to increase motivation and it's just going to increase the chances of us not quitting because we're seeing progress, okay? And even though, you know, nothing magic has happened but it's just a a, a mindset shift just as you change your perspective of how you look at things and that alone has a massive potential to improve uh, your, your performance and uh, your success and the second thing is to always improve if you don't quit okay and you always improve you are guaranteed to succeed eventually okay it might not be uh, straight away it might take years in the making but often things that are worth achieving do take a very long time okay it's taken me six years uh, to build the physique that I have right now okay so if I have this attitude towards the videos well it's probably gonna take me five years to get a uh, you know see some decent progress with this I've only been uh, uploading videos for a month okay <laughs> you know so if I relate that to the gym if you go to the gym for a month are you gonna see much progress maybe a little bit but not much, right? And it's the same with this, it's the same in business. If you start a business and you work on your business for one month, all right, you might get super lucky and just smash it out of the park. But chances are, <coughs> most people, most of the time, are not hitting a home run with their business within 30 days, okay? So don't quit and always improve and over the long term, you guarantee <coughs> to succeed, okay? Now you might be wondering, how am I gonna celebrate, okay? Am I going to go out partying? Uh, am I going to go out and eat lots of snacks? Uh, which I might actually eat some snacks, to be honest, but <clears throat> not yet. Uh, I'm going to celebrate uh, by, you know, actually doing things which is going to help me uh, 
move forward so I might consider I've actually got a camera upstairs which I don't use I might start filming on my camera and now that I've built this of a habit you know if there's a little bit more friction that's okay I might start editing my videos if that's what you guys want personally I prefer unedited videos I like to see how someone kind of makes connections between one thing and the next thing uh, but if you want to see edited videos you can let me know about that and uh, what else can I do yeah just maybe just overall in trying to improve the uh, production quality maybe thumbnails that might be something that I consider doing as well but the, the way I'm celebrating is not actually taking me further away from a goal it's actually uh, you know moving me closer towards but what I see a mistake a lot of people make is say uh, they've been really good with their nutrition you know they've been great with the nutrition all week uh, they've not cheated they've been to the gym every single day they're doing well it gets to Saturday you're like you know what I deserve it I deserve to I deserve to go out I deserve to have a night out they go on a night out they eat loads of shit they drink alcohol they get messed up and then everything all the progress that they've done all week they've just undone <coughs> I don't want that to happen to you okay so if you are gonna celebrate a small win don't go and celebrate and do something which pulls you further away from your goal do something that is conducive to the results that you're trying to achieve okay and the last thing that I want to touch on is uh, how small wins are going to increase your confidence, okay? Because say you're doing something, say you're going to the gym, okay? You've been at the gym a month, you've not seen much progress, but you congratulate yourself. You're like, yes, good job. I've been to the gym for one month now. Uh, I've been following my nutrition plan. I'm doing well. I'm putting in the right actions eventually if i do the right actions long enough i'm going to get the result that i'm looking for and you celebrate you give yourself a pat on the back well now you're in a more positive mindset now you have more confidence now you have more motivation and if your confidence is up and your motivation's up you're more likely to put in the right actions which are going to take you forwards and it is inevitable guys if you put in the right actions over a long enough time period you're guaranteed to succeed whether it's uh, you know in fitness, you go to the gym every single day, you stick to your nutrition, uh, and you do that, uh, and your your lifestyle's on point. Eventually, you're gonna have a sick physique. Okay, same with business. If you got a good offer and you put that offer in front of enough people, you're gonna be in profit. You're gonna make money, and it, this works the same for any skill, anything, any area of your life that you want to improve. Okay, if you put in the right actions over the long term, you are guaranteed to succeed. And the way that you can um, the way that you can uh, make it easier for you to take the right actions is by celebrating small wins along the way. All right, guys, hope that helps. If you're working towards any small wins at the moment, or maybe you have just hit some small wins, you know, consider dropping them down below. You can head to jamesweetland.com for coaching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.